I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. The newest untethered jailbreak released today. It's called Evasion, and this will jailbreak your iOS devices running 6.0 or 6.1. As you can see on the screen here, compatible with iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and iPad mini models running iOS 6 through 6.1. Unfortunately, it does not work on the newest Apple TV. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that your iOS device is running 6.0 through 6.1. You just go into your settings under general, then about, and you can see right here I am running 6.1. Once you're sure of that, make sure you do back up your device. Now in the jailbreaking process, it's so simple. 99% of the time you aren't gonna have a problem. There shouldn't be any issues with the jailbreak, but if there is, at least then you'll have a backup. So please make sure you do a backup before you attempt the jailbreak. Next, you wanna go going to go to the evasion website it's evasion.com now the o is actually a zero i will have a link in the description below once you get there you will need to choose which operating system your computer is running on of course if you're using linux choose linux mac you choose mac if you're running windows you choose windows fairly straightforward now when you're ready to go you just go and download the evasion program like so and you can see right there, it has downloaded into my downloads. I can now close out of this, my downloads, pull that out, bring it onto my desktop. From there, all you have to do is run it. And there we go, there's the evasion program. We'll put that on the desktop as well. We can now get rid of this, put that in the trash, and we double click. Do make sure that your iOS device is plugged into your computer at this point. Now it's going to check to see what model you have. I'm doing this on my iPhone 4. As you can see, it says it's running 6.1. It is supported. And then all you have to do is just click on jailbreak. But again, please make sure you have done a backup before you do this. So here we go, click jailbreak. And now it's just going to simply jailbreak your device. Now, make sure you do not touch your phone or your iPod or whatever you're jailbreaking your iPad before it says to do so. If you unplug it or turn it off or fiddle with it, it can mess up the jailbreak. So again, please follow the instructions on the screen and do not touch your phone. Even though it may look like it's turned on and ready to use, don't do it unless it tells you to do so on the screen. As you can see right there, it says do not touch your de device please make sure you heed that warning. Again, it can mess it up. Then you have to go through the whole process of restoring your phone. And again, this is where the backup comes into play. You restore your phone, and then you'll have to go through the whole process again. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long this process is going to take here. Uh, I may just cut away here for a second if it's dragging on, and then I'll come back once it's done. So as you can see, that did actually didn't take too long. I didn't have to cut away at all. Now you can see on the screen there, it shows that you can slide to unlock, but again, it says do not touch your device. On the screen there, on your computer, do not touch the device. So now it's gonna go through more of the process. You can see right there, it says injecting stage two jailbreak data, step one of three. It's moving on at a fairly quick pace, just released today. So I'm sure there's actually a lot of people right now trying to do their jailbreaks on their iOS devices. I know I've been waiting this one for a while. Can't wait to have screen recorder back on my phone so that when I'm recording videos of uh, app reviews and such that it's a lot easier to get the viz. Now, as you can see here on the screen, it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. Only tap it once, the screen will go black and then return you to the home screen. So here we go, we're gonna tap that, slide to unlock. 
Now we're going to look for the new jailbreak icon and you can see it right there. We'll tap it once. That's all you have to do. And then again on the screen, it's injecting the rest of the jailbreak. Again, do not touch anything else. You don't want to mess this up. Roots, it looks like it's finished. Injecting final jailbreak data. And actually this went very, very smoothly, very, very quick. And now the phone is going to reboot. As you can see on the screen here, it says jailbreak complete. The device may restart a few times as it completes the process. We should be able to just leave it on this screen right now. And hopefully the phone will reboot fairly quickly. There we go, there's the Apple logo. I am doing this on my iPhone 4 right now and not my iPhone 5. Simply because I'm having some issues with my iPhone 5, I actually may need to bring it into the Apple store. We'll see what happens. As you saw there, it's rebooting again. I'm having issues with my power on and off button as well as Wi-Fi ever since going to 6.1. If I'm using Wi-Fi, it'll just kick me off the Wi-Fi and go to 3G or LTE without even me knowing. And so that's becoming a bit of an issue. So I think I'm going to have to take my iPhone 5 actually back to the Apple Store and see what's going on. Here we go. It's still finishing up the jailbreak here on this iPhone 4. I should point out, since this is the release day, Cydia and everything is going to be very bogged down. It's going to be very slow. So once you do have your uh, device jailbroken and you go to Cydia, if it seems like it's taking forever, if you get some kind of errors and such, it's probably just because there's an overload of people trying to jailbreak their devices and such. So don't worry. Just keep trying or maybe try later in the day, try tonight or early in the morning when maybe there's fewer people trying to do this. As well, if you want to go to iPhoneInCanada.ca, we have a great... Uh, tutorial, a written out tutorial on how to jailbreak your device. So if you're a little hesitant to follow along with the video process, go to iPhoneInCanada.ca. We have it written out step by step. It's a great little guide uh, to go through to walk you through it. So here we go. Should be all done now. Here, we'll slide it over. And there we go. There is Cydia. Tap on that. And now it's preparing the file system and it'll go through this. Again, this could take a while. There are a lot of people going through this jailbreak process right now, but have a little patience. It will get there in the end. And now you have your jailbroken device. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me grow my channel. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. That way you're not going to miss any of my future videos. For more daily iPhone news, make sure you check out iPhoneInCanada.ca. I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.